Hey guys, Paul from Journey for Petrolhead. Looking at the interior of the 2017 Land Rover Discovery Sport. We've borrowed this car from Kevin Giles Motors down in Kinnegad for the review. Thanks, Kevin. KevinGilesMotors.ie. Go have a look at his website, see what else he has. What is this? I don't know. Go have a look. Nice car. Now, first thing I want to show you this has smart keyless entry. The car is locked at the moment. Keys in my pocket, no keys in my hand. Brilliant. Just opens the car. I, I do like that idea. Uh, I have that on my own Jaguar as well, and it's it's a nice idea. You don't really have to worry about unlocking the car and all that. It's it's handy. You don't have to find the key. If your hands are full, it's great, right? Big door. I like the tread kick plates here because you're not dragging the mud into the car, and the mats are designed to deal with mud from off-roading as well. So I do like the think in here, and it's a real comfortable place to be in here. Nice headroom. The, the thing is huge. I've got a hat on. There's a panoramic roof. There's still lots of space in this thing. Why don't we come in and have a look at the controls? Okay, so here we are at the wheel of the Landy. You'll notice this wheel looks really, really familiar. And if you remember the review we did at the F-Pace recently from Jaguar, these are the same controls right here. Complete match. And if you look at this in here, I know it says Land Rover, but those dials in the center bit there, identical to the F-Pace. So I like that idea because I really liked them in the F-Pace review, if you remember. We also have a, an automatic gearbox in here, eight speeds and paddle shift. So really, really nice idea. Cruise control, speed limiter are over here. Audio controls are over here. So it's all nice and simple and it's a nice steering wheel as well. Now, center console, lots and lots of toys. Dual zone climate control, heated seats, different driving modes as you would expect in a Land Rover. All sorts of up and down and hill assist and everything. So this, this has a lot of off-road ability in it. Nice Land Rover screen, automatic dipping mirror. And as I said earlier, a panoramic roof, which is really nice. It makes the interior of this car really nice and airy. Now, completely smart keyless entry and keyless start. Let's just turn the ignition on. Dial sweep, very similar to what we saw in Jaguar. And a nice, clear, easy to use screen. Nice and simple. You'll also notice we have Jaguar automatic shifters. Lots of storage. Lots of storage. Really, really comfortable seats too. If you look at the passenger seat, nice and heated, don't forget. And the piece de la resistance, I don't know if you can read this, let's just jump out for a second. We have the Meridian sound system. You can just about see the word Meridian there. Meridian sound systems in Jaguar are really nice. It won't be any worse than this really nice machine. Proper seats in the back. Comfortable, lots of space. Don't forget it's a seven seater, so lots of room there. Really nice car. We do like the interior finish in this. It's very, very comfortable, very nice. And everything is simple, right? I will not take you through all the various driving modes in a Land Rover. There's so many, we'd be here for hours. But suffice it to say, it's very, very simple to get up hills and down hills and wherever you want to bring this thing, it will go without fail. Okay, so I've hopped into the back of the Land Rover Discovery. And what do I see? Well, the first thing I notice is a coach hook here. It's very, very handy. Why is it on the side? Because we have a panoramic roof, don't forget which gives a lot of light into the back of this car. I know it's black inside, but it doesn't feel dark at all because of the amount of light coming in from that roof. That's really nice. And the driver's seat being where it needs to be for me, look at this. This is the biggest we've seen in any car we've ever tested. To date, it's huge in here. Lots and lots of space, storage, lots of storage in the doors. The Meridian sound system, I have two speakers in the back door alone. So the sound in this car would be great. I have my 12 volt, Charger in the back, we like that. I have map reading lights, we like that. Um, I even have a central armrest from the central seat, just very, very good. With cup holders, we do. We like we like the way this car is just set up. The storage in here is really, really nice. Now, it's a seven-seater. We hop out here for a second. There's a lever just down here. Pull that, seat falls out of the way. People can climb in the back, nice and simple. No real hassle, any of that. And because of seven seats, you've got seat belts in the back as well so it's an awful lot of room and comfort in the back for people a lot of headroom a lot of space i wouldn't worry about fitting tall people in here they'll fit no problem because the headroom doesn't dip at all the car is huge and i i seriously consider this kind of setup for a family that's always going places the boot is huge you've loads of room you bring their friends you've got the nice roof for the air and the light really really good 
And as I said on previous reviews, panoramic roof is like having a convertible without getting your hair wet. It's brilliant, right? Sun, rain, hail, snow, shine, doesn't matter, right? The roof is always open if you want it to be, or you slide the curtain across. I really like these panoramic roofs. I wish they came in all cars, really handy. They also have ISOFIX settings for these seats, and it's a huge end cap rating, five star end cap rating, so it's completely safe for families and the whole lot of it. Really good. Okay, so we've looked at the interior of the Land Rover Discovery, the 2017, the new facelifted version. Huge inside, lots of toys, very, very comfortable. Tons of space, seven seats. You've got the seats, it's just enormous. This, this is a much better version, and this is much more mainstream what people are demanding. So we do like the interior of this car. Come with us on the next video. Let's find out how it drives. Does it drive as well as it looks? I really hope it does. Can't wait to take this for a test drive. And like and subscribe. We're bringing more videos. And again, thanks to Kevin Judge for giving us the end of this car. Give him a ring. See if it's still available. Cheers.